Greetings, friends of our Blessed Lady. This week we focus on a large painting near the central shrine of the Miraculous Medal. It portrays the Sacred Heart reaching out to the Daughter of Charity to whom our Lord revealed the, the red scapular. Her name is Sister Louise Apolline Andrivo. Born in 1810, she lived until 1895. She joined the Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul at the age of 23. Between July 26, 1846 and September of that same year, Sister Louise experienced visions of Jesus and Mary in her convent in Troyes, France. Sister Louise was the third Daughter of Charity privileged with divine apparitions. The first was our own St. Catherine Labore, to whom Mary appeared in 1830, the year the Miraculous Medal was commissioned by God through the Immaculate Conception. Ten years later, our Lord commissioned the second visionary, Sister Justine Viscueburu, to spread the green scapular in 1840. The third visionary was Sister Louise Apolline, to whom we owe the gift of the red scapular. All three of these Vincentian visionaries stressed a redemptive theme central to their religious sacramentals, the miraculous medal, the green scapular, and the red scapular. All three focused on the pierced immaculate heart of Mary and shared promises attached to the wearing of these sacramentals. For a description of the apparitions experienced by St. Louise Apolline, see George Whalen's script associated with this video. The scapular and its bands are made of red wool. Unlike most scapulars, it's adorned with specific images which are essential to it. One side of the scapular shows a crucifix and some of the instruments of the Passion with the words, quote, Holy Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, save us, end quote. The other side is similar to the reverse side of the miraculous medal. It depicts a small cross above the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, with the words, quote, Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary, protect us, end quote. Typically, a red segment representing the precious blood is placed below the two hearts, although some examples omit that non-essential element and include others such as angels. Our prayer this week invokes our Blessed Mother of the Red Scapular. We pray. Blessed Mother, please help us to love and appreciate the sacrifice of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. The red scapular is a vivid reminder of the precious blood that he has shed for all of us. May we always be mindful of the miracle of Christ's resurrection and what it promises to us, his faithful disciples on earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our next reflection will focus on a large painting that portrays St. John Gabriel Perpoir, a China missioner. Thank you, dear friends, for your patronage and especially for your devotion to Mary. May you always remain close to our Blessed Lady. O Mary, conceived without sin, Pray for us who have recourse to you.